This video goes out to Natalie, who hit me up on Math by Five's Facebook page. We're talking about confidence intervals, and I'm not even really sure that's how you spell confidence or intervals. And here we go. What are we going to do if we're dealing with population parameters? It's going to be mu plus and minus z alpha over 2 times the standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size n or population parameter. Since we're dealing with the population, if we were dealing with a sample, then this would be x bar plus and minus still a z alpha over 2, unless you're being really technical with this t distribution, and then it's going to be s divided by the square root of n. Then both of those break out into two cases. It's like the quadratic formula. You can do that, you can do this. You're going to get mu minus z alpha over 2 times the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. And then you're also going to get mu plus z alpha over 2 times the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. Then, let's if you were doing confidence intervals with t-scores, these z's would be t's. Now, let's talk about those z alpha over 2. There are several very popular ones, so just go ahead and write them down. Now here it is. Here's a chart. CL stands for confidence level. We're going to be 90% confident, 95% confident, 98% confident, and 99% confident. The alpha, that's the chance that you're wrong. If you're 90% confident, there's a 10% chance you're wrong. But then over here, on the right-hand side, that's the important part. That's your z alpha over 2. Those are your z scores associated with the confidence levels on the left. A 90% confidence level has a z score of 1.645. 95% is 1.96. 98% 2.33. And 99% 2.58. So let's do an example. Here, in our first example, this is an introduction to confidence intervals. Mu is going to be 90. N is 100. The standard deviation, 15. And we want a 95% confidence interval. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get our z, alpha over 2. So we go back to our chart. We want a 95% confidence interval, so our z alpha over 2 is going to be 1.96. So now we have our z alpha over 2. That's 1.96. After this, it's an exercise in plug it in, plug it in. Let's see that. Where are we going to stick it? It's mu minus z alpha over 2 times the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. And then this is mu plus z alpha over 2 times the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. Let's go ahead and plug those in now. So here we go. Here our mu was 90 minus 1.96 times the standard deviation of 15 divided by the square root of 100. And what does my script give me? Bam! That's 87 point. Oh, 06. Let's do the other side. That's where we take the 90, we add 1.96, and we multiply it by 15, and we divide it by the square root of 100. Boom! 92.94. Let's go ahead and stick that back into our confidence interval. So the left side of my interval, 87.06, and the right side of our interval is 92.94. And that's at 95% confidence. I like to put that down there. And we're done! Box and flower.